Hey, it's Multimay here, and today I will be playing some more Cuphead. Uh, you, you know, the game with the Cup Man. Meanwhile, here I am playing as a Mug Man. You, you know how it be. We just beat two of the things uh, yesterday. We beat Forest Follies, and we beat Botanic Panic. See, I remember the names, and now we shall be fighting the Slime Guy in Ruse of an Ooze. So, this is what everyone calls the easiest fight in the game. Uh, oop. Oh, hey, smoke bomb. I forgot I, I, I equipped with that. Whoop. Let's duck under this. You can either get out of the way or duck under it. I've, I I remember seeing a lot of people just, like, try to get out of the way because they didn't know you could really duck under it. Uh, whoop. Ah, I was far enough away anyways. And I can switch my weapon uh, with the tr left trigger. Uh, that is our that is our only parry opportunity of the fight. Uh, I will not be 100%ing this game, I think I said that last time, but just to make sure, I will not be 100%ing it. I may later, or I, at least I do believe I will be doing expert. Uh, let's, whoop, let's use our cards. Ah, no, <laughs> I got hit. Whoop, I got hit in the easiest fight of the game, uh, with, uh, 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 there was, there was, uh, um, Mosquitoes in the air. Darn mosquitoes always getting in my vision. Uh, as you may have assumed, I believe that this guy is based off of slime from the... The... Dragon, Dragon Quest. Well, I mean, it's called Dragon Quest. You'd expect, you know, dragons there. Uh, let's... These guy, uh, as I said, he's quite easy. He plays around with uh, the kind of the, the level more than the root pack. And I, I'd honestly say that makes him harder for beginners. And uh, this area kind of just tests your dashing or just, like, you also have to move around with him. But, yeah, I, I, I will agree. This fight is not that difficult. Um, ignore the fact that I got hit. I, I, like I said, mos mosquitoes in the air. Darn mosquitoes. Also, I have to remember to start keeping track of time. I'm going to put on my stopwatch. I don't know how much time passed. Let's, you know what, uh, time. Let's see. I'll add a minute to that or something in two minutes. Uh, I got three, uh, I got like 12 minutes left or something. I don't know. <laughs> Math is hard. And we got another flag. Goopy Lagrande soul contract. Let's see, what, what, what should we do from here? Let's, you know, uh, let's, let's go to the Molosseum. I've always been a fan of these. Be gone, spirits. Oh, wait. You're real. I was about to hit you with the old parry move. That's how you deal around with ghosts around here. Only a net would try shooting something that isn't really there. Speaking of not being places, what you fellas mind moving? You're spooking the fish. But you're... Cannibalism! Molosseum I. I know that's one in Roman numerals, but I refuse to call it anything but I. So, as you said, um... I'm not a network. We gotta parry these ghosts, as you can see, because they're, they're pink. It's the universal law of this universe. Uh, if you were born pink, then, well, uh, you, well, oops. I, uh, let's, whoop, let's get here. Now I fear that I'm being racist. Uh, let's see, what, what else we got here? Let's get this. Whoop, let's get here. Just gotta parry all these ghosts. I find them all the seems fun. I don't feel like enough people talk about these. These are a lot of... Cat's lost, you hear me? That's home is only for the air. I've never seen that message before. Um, that... <laughs> I'm a bit sad now, but... <laughs> Let's just get over here. Let's, uh... Okay, let's not die here. Whoop. All the way up there. Boom. 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 Boom, boom, boom. As you can see, I have just quality audio. Look, I know I said this is fun, but it may not be the most enjoyable thing to watch. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I, I, uh, look, there's an eye on that window over here. That, that's cool, because this is, like, the first Molosseum. Let's, in the next Molosseums, I'll see if there's also an eye, if there's, like, two eyes there. That, that, that'd be a nice, uh, feature. Uh, anything else? Whoop, let's just, oh, ah, I didn't frame one him. Victory! Ooh. 
and uh, uh, time to make my horrid female impression. Gosh, I don't know how how to thank you guys, boys for saving me. Well, my man is. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm known as the legendary Chalice. Pleased to meet you. I was searching for magic that got trapped by this ghost. Speaking of magic, who's one of my voice? Speaking of magic, please accept this gift that you'll help. There are many other Molosseums in Inquilial, I just wonder. As you could tell, I have the absolute b best impression in the world. You unlocked a new super. Dear me, I mustn't forget the magical super arts have to be equipped by the menu before I use, so uh, go to equip. Super, super art, energy beam. Now, uh, this will only be activated if you have five cards. It'll use up all five cards, and it'll do, like, some super huge mega Hadouken kind of move. See, let's see what else we can do here. What's that? You two want to fly on a plane like I do? <laughs> you're not sitting in the and You're not sitting in the Andy. And it... And, uh, why, why does that word have to follow after making that mistake? Okay, let's just... Uh, you're not sitting in any cockpit until you study those blueprints. Airplane blueprint. Let's see what we got here. Uh, hold X to shoot. B to special. Bomb. Morph. Bam, 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 bam. We got all the cards. And we can also shrink, which will make our shots less powerful and more tiny, but we can move around faster. It's more of an agile option. You know, I just realized I haven't said anything that would make my older video... Is Does Kappa still exist? I haven't heard of Kappa in, like, a bajillion years, but I, I think it still exists? I don't know. Um, hell. Damn. Crap. Boom. Now this is PG-13. <laughs> Whoop. So now we got our Hildeberg. Hildeberg uh, starts out pretty normal, but uh, after a while she turns into one of three constellations. We start out with... I don't remember what this one's called. It's like Bull. Um, bull uh, it'll just charge at you. You gotta just avoid to get out of the way. Uh, we got... If we have all our cards, we can kind of just run into her. Uh, she'll launch out tornadoes. You just got to avoid it. It's easier to avoid. If you uh, shrink, uh, don't you laugh at me. Yeah, I avoided your attack. I say hi at you. Oop. Let's get out of the way. Another constellation. Uh, I don't know what this one is. It's the... Oh, that's Orion. Okay, I know this constellation. I was obsessed with it back in, like, fifth grade. Yeah, in fifth grade, there was, like, this one... Uh, I remember in science, we talked about constellations. Oh, uh, we talked about constellations this one time. I was absolutely enthralled with it. I'm not as interested in space anymore. I'm in, like, I don't know, my sea phase. Marine biology is interesting me. And I died. <laughs> oh, that's our first death. Fitting, isn't it? I'm a blip. You're a wimp. Well, that's just rude. Constellations are still fascinating. I, I think it's really cool, um, the designs of this. I'm going to be complimenting the designs a lot. I, I, I think that they tried, like, kind of holding back during the root pack and Goopy Lagrande. I, I think they did some interesting things with it, but, man, these other guys, these, these guys can get really cool. Like, the constellations, and then you kind of see the interpretation with, like, how clouds are incorporated. That, that's, a, uh, that's, that's a really cool design. Uh, and then you, you saw with Orion how they kind of incorporated the design. I really like it. Uh, whoop. And let's just, whoop go over here and hopefully avoid this uh, i don't think i have mentioned them but you got these little side blimps on the well side they will be try to avoid they will t they will try to no they will try to attack you you have to avoid them you can also just take care of them before they even shoot at you uh orion i think is a bit difficult to deal with because of how these stars kind of home in on you you gotta just, whoa, oh, darn. You gotta just uh, kind of move all out of the way. I don't think uh, Hildeberg is as hard as some other people make it out to be. I remember hearing how, like, hard it, this could be. Um, I, I, this is a very hard fight for the for beginners, I will agree. I struggled a lot at the beginning of this. Though, I, I think she gets easier with time. Whoop. And let's go under. You can also see that there's two variants of the little blimp thingies, either the purple ones who just shoot straight at you, some of them can be pink, or there are the green ones who shoot like multiple bullets uh, at you. And now as you can see, Tildeberg is a moon.
because, you know, class kill the birds. Uh, you gotta avoid the stars, and then she also has UFOs. The red UFOs, you kind of have to run in front of. However, the brown UFOs just stay back. Uh, something else I should mention is that the super grants you invulnerability for a bit of time, so you can use it as a panic button. And we just defeated Helderberg. Boom. Let, let, let's see. Let's see where I am on my stopwatch. Hey, man. You know what? That, 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 that's, that's a pretty good time. That is... Eh. It's pretty eh score. There is one other constellation Hildeberg can turn into. It is kind of these like twin sister kind of things. I'm not sure who they are. Uh, what she'll do there is she'll summon something in the middle of the screen that'll just kind of like shoot out at you to the corners of the screen that you kind of got to avoid. Uh, I, I explained that really badly, but yeah, you could probably find videos of it somewhere. All right, Treetop Trouble, another running gun. I struggle on this way more than I should, so this kind of brings back uh, some flashbacks, but ah, well, it'll be fine. I will be getting all the coins, by the way, because I, I want to get everything. Uh, whoop. Let's go through here. If you can see, there are some little ladybugs over here that will either be jumping at you or just rolling at you. You got the pink ones you can parry, and then you got these little uh, little rooster guys who... They're woodpeckers. Ah, yes, the roosters pecking into logs. Classic rooster traits. Yeah, as you can see, the, they're just, like, kind of pecking at you. You just got to time your shot. Um, you know, I could have, I could have, I could have timed that, and I could have predicted that and done something about it, but I'm calling cheap. Oh. Oop. Oop. There are some bugs around here. These guys, they're quite simple. You just got to shoot them. They move in a predictable pattern. Then you got these log guys that, for some reason, I just really like their design. Let's... Okay, these are some platforms that you can go through. If you remember how to... Ow. Oh, no. <laughs> if you remember, um, there are some platforms. If you duck and then jump, you can go through. So just remember that. I've died more times with that than I should. Uh, oh, this is scary. Yeah, so the logs shoot out spikes at you because log anatomy is weird. You just want to kind of take care of these guys. You got to, uh, uh, they're in the kind of a stack. You got to, uh, once you shoot them, then the top of the stack goes away, then the middle part, and then, like, the bottom part. It's, it's in order. Can I, can I shoot these guys from here? Okay, I got one guy. Haha. -ha. I took care of your friend. Now this just got gruesome. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do this anymore uh, with one health. Just, I hired the stakes quite a bit here. Let's jump for this coin. Let's go over here. Uh, let's jump over that. I don't think that I should be using my cards on these guys because... Uh, you know what? No, let's, let's use my cards on these guys. Yeah. How do you feel about that? <laughs> that just felt like overkill. We got, okay, we got a coin over here. We could jump on here to get here. And as you can see, a uh, new little gimmick once we get out of this tree. Uh, these guys, they are temporary platforms. That fire will hurt you if you walk into it. Even, even like, if, if you jump onto it from this point, it will hurt you. I wouldn't demonstrate because bottom left corner. Let's just jump over here. Whoop. Uh, the most recent time I've played this game was, like, a few months ago. Uh, I was trying to do, like, a dashless run, so it feels so weird seeing, being able to dash, and I, I, comes, I sometimes uh, just forget that it exists. Uh, whoop, uh, right, uh, ba, 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 ah, ba, ba, ba. <laughs> Alright, now we got this guy, we, I probably should have saved my cards for him, but, ah, well, it's fine. And this is the only guy left. Uh, boom. Boom. I got you. There we go. And we just gotta wait for this leaf as well. And... <sighs> ah! There we go. <laughs> Sorry, it was, a bit, it was a bit of a far jump, you know. Smidge bit scary. I got... Uh, you know, this is a bit risky, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna go for one more. I am going, uh, hopefully I beat him first try. There are only two fights left. We are almost done with the first world already. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. 
let's let's go over to that's the wrong area i don't have a lot of time i must i must go actually no i have basically unlimited i have basically unlimited time oh well let's see what you gotta say what are you looking at my chip huh it's not my fault i've been busy fighting off those casino debtors now i gotta say this up and have my blade fixed so help me i wish someone would bust that king dice one yeah that darn king dice he was described as sleazy, but I think he's sneezy. Got him. So now we got our fight with Cagney Carnation with that famous song that everyone talks about. Uh, let's... Ooh, okay. He's gonna... He's kind of a Gatling gun, as you can see over here. Uh, at, I already got hit. That's not very good. He, these sprouts are now gonna get in the way. This guy especially. Let's try getting rid of him. Now he's gonna launch... These at you, you just gotta avoid them, kind of carefully. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. It's a catchy song, okay? It's popular for a reason. He's also gonna launch his face at you, classic plant maneuver. This guy, uh, these things will come back to you at the bottom. I Also, I just wanna compliment how they kind of just, how they kind of just make these kind of platforms more unique from each other. I like how there's differences in, like, staying at the top, staying at the bottom, and how his uh, attacks are based upon that. And now in his second phase, where, as you can see, you can't go on the floor. Now that's hazardous, and he will, he'll try to, like, spike you from the bottom. It, it's really cool how they play with the geometry of that. Uh, and we got a knockout. Okay, phew. And now these guys won't hurt us. And his eyes scare me. B for brand new record. And that's uh, for Cuphead for today. We have one more soul contract we need to get in this island, though we are not we are not we are not very close to done and this is the first world so it wouldn't be that hard. So uh, I, I'm struggling a bit more than I usually am, so I'm a bit scared for the road ahead, but uh, we'll get through it. So yeah, I shall see you guys later.